We're going to hear from another writer this morning, Dale Dapkins. He is locally based and an author of social science fiction. Along with being an author, Dale is also a painter and an oriental rug dealer. That's right. It's a trade that he picked up in Turkey during the Peace Corps. Dale has much more information and tales about his life and his latest book entitled Prize Winners this morning. Dale, thank you for being on with me. Well, thank you. <laughs> First of all, before we get into your life, you've got to explain this necklace for me. This, well, I, I'm the last person to win the Lorian Hemingway contest, the short story competition, mm -hmm. uh, two years in a row. After that, they said you could only win it once. <laughs> <laughs> and this is this is the badge of honor. Okay, I like it. That's a nice little prize Thank that you, you got there. <laughs> Before we get into your book, prize winners, Dale, tell me about this Oriental rug dealing business. Well, I, I was in the Peace Corps in Turkey, and when I got back, I I brought some rugs back with me and had them on my shoulder, and I didn't have a car, and I walked down to the local Armenian rug dealer, and I went to show him my rugs and he would not let me in the shop and he said take those Turkish rat pelts back home and come back without them and I will teach you about oriental rugs. I didn't I didn't realize the animosity between Turks and Armenians at the time mm -hmm. but I went back and apprenticed to him for uh, probably five years mm -hmm. and learned all about antique oriental rugs. Very interesting. Yeah. Did you write a book about it? I did not. Okay. Might be something in the future you could Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. As I mentioned, you're an author of social science fiction. This is actually a genre that you created. It is. And you might think from the title that um, I'm talking about dinner parties on spaceships. <laughs> but in fact, um, it's more about the brain. You know, your brain... You don't think about it much, but we have the left brain, which I call Mr. Fun. You know, when <laughs> somebody wants to go drinking with you, it's the left brain that agrees and says, yeah, let's mm -hmm. do it. Mm -hmm. And right brain is Mr. Sanity, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. kind of keeps things in line. Mm -hmm. And to keep it real simple, under, the, under everybody up there, it, also with Mr. Sanity is your superego, mm -hmm. all the people who judge you. Your parents are over there, all the, the kids who were better than you and smarter than you. Mm -hmm. uh, they're over there in right brain. Under it all is the amygdala. <laughs> the amygdala is also called the reptilian brain. Mm -hmm. And it formed millions of years ago before we evolved into who we are. It doesn't understand language. And I'm, I'm not making this up. Uh, and, and it's basically responsible for fight and flight, okay. S making you survive. Mm -hmm. And it's like, wh I don't know, you probably never experienced this, but when, you get, when someone gets really angry and can feel it coming on and you can't stop it, mm -hmm. it's because you can't talk to your reptilian brain. You will say things that you regret, mm -hmm. but you can't stop it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, all that, that said now, um, all of those brain elements reflect on memory and your whole thought process. And when I write, I try to bring that to the forefront. Do you want me to give you an example? Yeah, of course I want an example. <laughs> <laughs> well, in my house growing up, mm -hmm. uh, my parents, me, my brothers, everybody referred to Jesus as if Jesus was right there in the room. Mm -hmm. uh, my mother whined to Jesus. Mm -hmm. You know, I uh, asked Jesus for things, mm -hmm. uh, and sometimes I got them. And he, he was like the, uh, you know, the cheap lottery ticket. Mm -hmm. you, you might get it. <laughs> you, don't know, you don't know when Jesus is going to come through. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but like I said, my mother whined to Jesus all the time um, about her appliance needs, uh, wanting to get into the country club that wouldn't let us in. Mm -hmm. Uh, and my father just kind of swore in his name. Mm -hmm. And so in my writing, I bring the Jesus character in, in like the first story in the book. Uh, he's, he's actually a person there. He's with us all the time. And everybody talks to him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, well, he's I, like an old uncle. You I, know. I like it. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, truthful. It, and, it, and, it, and it really happened that way, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you know. The whole science fiction thing is so fascinating because what we are living is a, essentially science fiction. We're, we're on a molten ball of iron flying through the universe at phenomenal speeds. And, and yet we are able to you know, sit and have a conversation right. and, and wearing these bizarre things <laughs> that we wear. You know, unlike the animals, we're all dressed up and we're, we're like space creatures. All right, so that's where the social science fiction came through. Yes. And prize winners. Dale, you are one creative man, so I, I oh, look you. forward to <laughs> reading your books. Prize winners, that's the latest one that's been released. Yes. And you can pick it up on absolutelyamazingebooks.com. It's three ninety nine to purchase an electronic version. Do you have a new book in the works? Yes, I do. I have uh, Prize Winner Stew. Okay. And uh, with small dogs. It, and it's, uh, again, a couple of stories that uh, have won the big prizes. Mm -hmm. And most of them uh, involve dogs. Okay. Most of the stories. Well, I look forward to reading it. You'll have to come back on the show with another necklace and talk about it. <laughs> Dale, thank you for being on this well, morning. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back. Stay with me.